As coronavirus cases rise across the country, a federal official says the CDC will recommend that even vaccinated people wear masks indoors in areas of high spread. The agency's former director says we are on a dangerous path right now. We could see as many as 200,000 cases a day, four times our current rate, within another four to six weeks. And we are joined now by UCSF infectious disease specialist, Dr. Peter Chin Hong. And doctor, as we wait for that official guidance, gotta ask you, is this surprising to you? It's not surprising at all. And I think that um, the CDC has been more deliberate in this particular decision than saying the decision to sort of liberalize, uh, you know, uh, mask, masking for those who are vaccinated in the last guidance they gave. So I think, they're being more deliberate because it's not easy. There are different uh, outbreaks happening in different parts of the country. At the end of the day, the hospital resources are going to be more strained by areas where folks are not quite as uh, well vaccinated as other areas. And we're also seeing more mandates to get the vaccine, notably the governor requiring it for health care and state workers, or they'll face mandatory testing. Do you think local leaders will follow suit? Yes, I think one other repercussion of what the CDC's guidance will do is that it will give cover to municipalities, uh, private institutions, organizations, businesses to enact uh, similar uh, mandates or recommendations. Uh, you'll see a mix of those two emerge in the next few weeks. All right, Dr. Peter Chin Hong from UCSF, thank you so much. We've been spending a lot of time with you today. We appreciate it. And people are weighing in on the possible indoor mask recommendation on social media. Some skeptical that everyone would even follow a nationwide mask mandate at this point. Others say the mask rules should not have been relaxed in the first place. You can share your thoughts by using the hashtag KPIX.